In our previous lectures, we talked about the concept of function. We continue in this lecture with domain of a function. This calculus family, if this is the first time you are visiting this channel, kindly subscribe as we do a lot of tutorials in this channel. So domain of a function, what is the domain of a function? So now, from the definition of function in our previous video, we realized that a function takes in an input and it gives out an output, right? The set of inputs, so sets of inputs, which we feed it into the function is what we call domain. Domain. But take notes. We don't just put any input into the function. Domain deals with only valid inputs. Valid inputs. What do I mean with valid inputs? When I say valid inputs, I mean that any input which will make our function defined, right? So in short or in simple terms, domain of a function is a set of inputs that makes a function defined, right? So this is a simple definition you have to know about domain. So as I said, the set of inputs we feed into a function that makes that function defined is what we call domain of a function. Knowing this, we can go ahead and solve some problems. So how do we determine the domain of a function? So let's see. I have a problem here. Find the domain of each of the following functions. So the first one is f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. How do I find the domain of this function, right? So let's see. So as I said, domain is a set of input that will make a function defined. Given the function here, f of x, which is equal to 5x minus 3, you realize that there is no value of x that will make this function undefined. This is because the function is linear, right? So whenever you have a linear function, to find the domain of a linear function, the function will always have a domain that spans from negative infinity towards positive infinity. So in simple terms, you write that the domain is x is said that x is a member of all row numbers. So this is how you write it. Because there is no number that will make this particular function undefined. Let's see another example. So I have g of t to be equal to square root of 4 minus 7 how do I find the domain of this function? You ask yourself that in the row number system, square root of negative numbers are not accepted, right? And we say they are undefined. For that reason, whenever you are dealing with functions and you have the square root of a particular expression, where the whole expression is a function, then there will be there will be values that will make this function undefined. This is because any value when I put here and I get negative will make this function undefined. For that reason, 4 minus 70 should always be greater than or equal to zero. Right? So from here you say that 4 is greater than or equal to 70. Then by mathematics, t will be less than or equal to 4 over 7, right? 
Now, any value which disobeys or which is out of this range will make our function here undefined. On that note, our domain is giving us x is such that x is a member of all row numbers where x is less than or equal to 4 out of what 7. As simple as that. Somebody can also choose to find the range of values that will make this particular function here undefined. For that reason, I also write 4 minus 70 should be less than what 0. And this particular expression here would give me the terms that will make my function undefined. So when I solve this, I'm going to get 7, 4 is less than 70. Then realize that c will be greater than 4 over 7. This is because I'll divide here, I'll divide here, then I'll get this, right? So in writing your domain, you just write domain is equal to x is such that x is a member of all row numbers where x is not right where x is not so you can say that let me make it this way so you write x is such that x is a member of our numbers except c greater than 4 on 7 so i'm using x here but my variable was t so you just have to change this to t this to t this to t this to t so if you have 4 minus 70 is greater than or equal to 0 as your method of finding the domain then the domain simply becomes t is so that t is a member of all row numbers where t it's less than or equal to 4 over 7. This is right. If you also choose to have proved using 4 minus 70 is less than 0, then your final domain becomes t is such that t is a member of all row numbers except t greater than 4 out of 7. This is the end of this session. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share.